honestly, it's changed my life. And I just find that it's a really brilliant interface of the two. The new playlist and then move to the top, boom. That's now editing for me in a whole new way and a whole lot quicker. It is the future. That's honestly what the way I feel. With the Raven, you reach out and touch the actual plug-in controls. This is huge. Uh, and I don't think people realize how much that is. And this is great because these plugins, all of this stuff works so well. I, I have no complaints. I, I, I look at it and I go, I, I hit a button and the plugin pops up. I said, you can't even do that in a studio. You know, you, you got it. You, you want to adjust a compressor and you have to turn around and you know, fiddle with it and come back. Here you hit the button and it's like your assistant walks up to you and holds it in front of you. It's like, make the adjustment. All right, put it back in the rack. And he goes and stuffs it back in the rack. One of the, the things that kind of gets me a little bit crazy with the other control surfaces is them trying to take the knobs of a manufacturer's GUI and putting them onto some knobs, some hardware knobs. Never really works. It's, it's to be able to free you up from uh, mouse work to free you up from endless repetitive tasks, to be able to, with one button, get a lot of your donkey work done so you can get on with the creative stuff. It's a great sound editing and sound design tool, and most of all, it's just a really intuitive work surface. To all your recording guys, this is the future of recording council.